Okay, so we're going to use this bench lathe. We've got pumice on one side. It's wet pumice. If the pumice is, is uh, mixed with water to make a consistency that's critical because water doesn't polish anything. It's the pumice that does. And we use fine, fine pumice. Comes in different coarseness, but uh, we use fine. And it should be like heavy mud. It should be fully saturated, but it should not be watery. Okay, and that's the consistency that we want. If your consistency is just right, it'll pumice and scratches out easy. All right. I'm going to use a combination of the brushes first to go uh, up around the teeth. And at the end, I'll use a wet rag wheel that I've put under the faucet and wet this uh, to smooth out the peripheries. But the main thing is that we can't be pumicing on the teeth. If we pumice the teeth themselves, they're going to flatten out. Uh, it won't take long to take a millimeter of plastic away. So we, we have to be careful that we're not on the teeth. I'm going to start out with a handful of pumice. And I'm pumicing towards the periphery so I can see where the teeth are and that the brush itself is not getting on the teeth. You got to keep it moving and you got to press a little bit. It's just like using sandpaper. If you're barely rubbing the, the wood, the sandpaper is not going to do anything. You've got to press a little bit. But you also have to keep it moving and keep applying pumice. As soon as it's cleared off, you have to put on some more. If you don't keep it moving, then it's going to get hot and burn the acrylic in that spot. And the smoother it is before you come here, the quicker it's going to polish. It's going to take a larger brush to get in these deep palatal areas. Get all the scratches out, you pumice it until the pumice clears off and you can see if the scratches are all gone, then we're done. On here and it will stop, which doesn't shut the motor off, but it shuts the wheel off so we can unscrew the, the brush and then I can put in the drag wheel, okay, set it on there, put your hand up so it doesn't throw the water in your face, let the handle up, and now we're spinning again. Be careful you don't over pumice the posterior area or you might remove some of your post amp. You have to Make sure that that posterior paddle seal stays on there. The mistake is to over polish it and remove that seal and then that's critical. If it's removed then the denture is going to gonna not retain. So take your finger and go around the periphery. Make sure you don't have anything sharp. Okay, so it should look like that. Now we can rinse this off and I'll hit it with the high shine. So the high shine is done with a soft wheel. Okay, this is soft. It should not be hard as a rock like this is. It's way overfilled with the, with the polishing compound. Okay, that's got enough polishing compound on it to where it's totally ruined the wheel. It's got to be soft, kind of like shine in your shoes. The scratches should all be gone. And all it's going to do is give it a little bit of shine. So you go real soft, and you go over it, and it should take about that long. Uh, polish that's stuck in between the teeth needs to be cleaned off. I just use a denture brush and ultrasonic all-purpose cleaner to remove any residual green polish that's 